Welcome back, Achievers, to your Elden Ring spoiler cast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting with me today. Alex. Hello, Elden Lord tarnished. himself. My fellow tarnished. Mm. We have both beaten mm. quotes. Mm -hmm. Maybe finished, I don't know. Done the mainline story of Elden Ring, plus a lot of extra stuff. I definitely have. You, you have very much played a lot more of this game than I have. Now, Alex, <laughs> yes. I don't know if you have the hours in your head, just for the audience, the achievers, to know. Roughly time in the game. Um, almost 200 hours, and, I'm working, and I just started with two, three hours in on my third playthrough. Okay, so about 200, about to hit yeah. 200. Yeah. I'm much lower, I believe, I want to say I'm 80 to 100. Mm. I did not check this morning, but I should be around mm. there, 80 to 100. Um, beating the main stuff, went around, did a bunch of side quests. Me and Alex actually did a lot of this co-op, so you'll have some insight on that, him showing me a couple things throughout my mm -hmm. playtime. It's very good. Before we get into actual spoiler cast, I want to just quickly give like our discussion of what we thought about the game. Um, spoiler free. We'll probably go for spoiler free for maybe 10 minutes. It won't be long. Uh, Alex will have time codes if you just want to get straight to the spoiler cast down below in the description. Uh, but Alex, really quick uh, mm. review. Clearly you like the game. You put 200 hours into yes. it. But if there's any way, what, what could you... An achiever wants to know, what are your thoughts on the game? Um... If you have never played a Soulsborne game, or if you have and you did not like them, this game could change your mind. I would say give it a shot, because okay. a lot of from what I because of the the open worldness and the free range that it can have, right. and being you not having to stick with one build because you can respec. It is, it, it's really lenient. It's fantastic with, um, you know, if something's too hard, you're not stuck. You can, you're like, okay, you know, I'll deal with this later. Yes. I'll go grind a little bit, go do something else, and then come back to it. Or I'll just go to I, a completely different piece of the world. Completely different area. Yeah, yeah. It, ugh, the world. Don't even get me started on the world. Yeah. It's huge. I'm still finding to this day, it's still stuff. Yeah, there's still stuff yeah, like, easily. I yeah, would, I, I, I like, yeah. Yeah, I, this is probably my my favorite Souls game or FromSoft game. FromSoft, yeah. Yes. Yeah, correct. I yeah I have to basically agree with everything you just said. Um, yeah, if you are newer to Souls, I do think this is a good place to start. Just so you have to have an open mind when coming to these games. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to know that these this is a different design than what we're used yes. to. Yes, we're yes. used to games very different telling us everything. We're used to it. Mm -hmm. And Far Cry, Horizon, all these other open world games will tell yes. you every detail you need to know about yep. anything in the game. This one yep. does not tell you almost anything. There's yep. an open tutorial that will tell you how to hit your weapon. Um, it will tell you how to switch your inventory system. Um, and it will tell you basic ways of how your like the actual inventory works. How to like use certain items, things like that. Um, it will eventually show you how to summon your horse. Yes. That's about it. That's that's basically the only tutorial you get. It does not mm -hmm. tell you, for instance, a vital, vital item in the game. Yeah. For instance, uh, like th you this can go through this, this whole game without like getting to a piece of I don't quest think, line or yeah, a piece I, of story that you, I don't think you this could is miss. A spoiler, but it doesn't tell you like there's a there's a thing in the it's called a uh, psych, I believe. The wondrous uh, physic? No, the, wonder, the wondrous physic, I believe, is what's called. Yeah, the mixed flask, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is probably one of the one of, if not the strongest thing in the game, next to the thing that heals you. Yep. And doesn't you tell can you where that completely. is. You know, doesn't yeah. tell you where yeah. that is at all. Yeah. So yeah, you have this to game... have an open mind with the game design. Not really holding your hand. It just kind of no. tells you. This... This game is meant for you to go out and look for the story and then be like, oh, you know, I don't know what this is about. Go and look for it. There's, there's, you know, stories all around that world is what people, that's how you get the story in this game. It's just not just going to be told to you. Yeah, yeah. Or if you, you know, if you don't want to, there are really good fun guides. There's people oh, yeah. on YouTube that make guides too if you want to experience it that way. Fantastic you, don't, you don't have to try and figure it out yourself. Yep. Um. Yeah, the, and you the, still have a good time with those guides. I mean, I all the time, 
I'll have fun with those guides. Yeah, yeah, you can use a guide, pop a guide open, put it in your ear, run around, maybe do some yep. guys, some don't. I don't know. Up to you. Yep. Now, I will say, let's broaden the scope a little bit and just talk mm. basic mechanics and gameplay. This, it's almost needless to say, the gameplay is amazing. Um, yes. Especially if you find a build that's perfect for you. Uh, mm-hmm. If you know how to spec and things like that throughout the game, you're going to have a fun time finding, I mean, Jesus, the amount of weapons that you can choose from, the varieties, there's whips, there's spe- spears, there's, there's like fists, halberds, yeah. you could just punch things if you want. I don't know why you would. Yeah. Um, there's <laughs> swords, there's katanas, there's shields. I mean, there's, there's bows, so crossbows. Yeah, yeah, you can be yeah. a bow build. Um, which I heard don't is recommend very it, but... bad. Yeah, I heard it's yeah, really bad. That. This is actually one of the only Souls games that like you don't want to touch a bow, probably. Um, yeah. Unless for very specific situations like... Uh, Farming, meat farming, cheesing a boss or something like that. Aside from that, you don't really want to touch a bow. That, which is yeah. surprising. I will say this is one of the most. This is gonna be hilarious to say because it isn't, but this is the most balanced souls in terms of builds. Oh, for sure. There's the, the amount of builds. Yeah. Yeah, you can almost make a build out of. I mean, you can anything. pretty much make a build out of anything. You could be a strength magic, strength mm-hmm. dex, uh, the, um. Dex magic. You can be That's, faith yeah. magic. You can. I mean, you can. Mine really, right now is a. It's a mage magic. A mage dex, and it's fa- it's awesome. Yeah. So you can really kind of hit any kind of power fantasy you want to be. You want to be a cool guy with double heavy blade swords. Go for mm-hmm. it. You want to be just a mage with no weapons. You can do that too. You can. Yeah. Be. I uh, saw a build once. There's two big great swords just walking around, but yep, you can only I hit it once. Yeah. yeah. But it's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do a yeah. lot of damage. You just basically are just strength, and you just jump and hit stuff. Um, there's, I mean, the variety in this game is what I want to hit to. Uh, story yeah. is amazing. Again, I will say it's just like every other Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Do I know what's going on? No. Is everything awesome? Yeah, I do yeah. pick up little yeah. things. Uh, for instance, side quests are really nice. Uh, because you get a very direct story because someone is telling you it while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, one negative I'll give the game though, I wish it. I although I do like discovering stuff, like I like when I find something out. I yeah. wish the NPCs would be more clear about where they're going next. Oh my I'm god! I'm not yeah. really. I actually had to find a guide for a, a quest I wanted to do. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I'll just say the name. Uh, there, there's a character named Millicent in the. In the mm-hmm. game, and I wanted to do her quest line. I couldn't figure out where she went, so I looked it up, and I was like, "Oh yeah, no wonder I couldn't figure out where she went. It doesn't really tell you." Yeah, it, and then it just disappears as you continue the storyline. She almost doesn't tell you at all throughout the oh, entire. No, I think yeah. one time she tells you, like she's going north, and you're like, "I okay, think yeah, I think like, there's one person that I've encountered that be like, hey, 'Hey, I'm heading this direction.' I'm like, you're like the only person who's told me that, man.' Yeah, I." To me, that's annoying because I want to. I want to experience more of that story. Yeah. If you at least tell me a direction, I don't mind, so I can at least yeah. go that way. But there's a lot of characters that just say, "I'm just gonna go." Uh, another mm-hmm. person I'll bring up is um. There's a priest character that you meet early in the game, and he yep. eventually will just leave to go do something. I never found him again. I never found him either, and I wanted to find him. I wanted. I tried. I tried to find him. Yeah. I knew he was linked to another character. Because he mentioned him, so I went to that character, mm-hmm. nothing happened. I went around the area, never found him. I went to a few catacombs around the area, never found So I have no idea where he is, and I, I was like, I'm not going to look it up. I, I wanted to see if I could do it, and I couldn't. So I uh, tried to look up his quest to see like where, where he goes and what he does. It's, who's going to figure this out? Yeah, like pretty much like literally the steps he's like go here do this go here do that it pops up here do this it's like unite I, what <laughs> i remember i think a few days ago i i was just looking at the wiki for side quests and i saw his name and i was like oh mm-hmm. let me see where he went apparently he's tied to an ending too and i was like what and then you have to it's a it's a while what you have to do <laughs> i was like mm-hmm. okay i'm kind of glad i didn't figure it out because i wouldn't have known what to do after that anyways so yeah, uh, that that's one that's one negative I'd give the game. Um, I surprisingly uh, very stable for me. I I do feel mm-hmm. for my PC friends out there, the PC achievers. Uh, I heard it was rough, so I yeah. I actually do feel really bad because uh, I I heard a lot of PC people were having huge issues. Also, yeah. recently it was patched now, but recently 
uh, someone could invade you and put you in a uh, hard lock, like continually killing your character. That's awful too. There's a lot of things that like out of the gate. You guys had a lot of time with this game. There's certain things that that shouldn't have happened, especially ones where your entire save might get ruined. Yeah. So that was that was upsetting. But aside from that, I mean, the story is is great. Uh, this immediately shot up to one of my favorite games of all time in the well, FromSoft sure. uh, series. Um, maybe even Eclipsing Bloodborne, which is crazy to say, but it probably is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, this is actually exactly what I need because it, it almost kind of, it was very refreshing to get this game because oh, there's not really sure. that many games yeah. like this. There are games that are inspired by like the FromSoft kind of genre, but. Nothing mm-hmm. really kind of nails it quite like they do in this. Yeah, place. you only get this type of game like once in a generation. Yeah, this is this is a fantastic game, and I, I can't wait for DLC and stuff like that. I can't, oh, I can't wait for yeah. more stuff to do in this game, more bosses. I need to get mm-hmm. back into it and try because I do want to try and thousand it. Alex, mm-hmm. you're very close. You you need one. I have you, one. one, right? Yeah, so one you just ending, need to yeah. do an ending, and you're done. Yep, that's good. Yep. So I I do need to do that as well, just to so I'm done with it, but. Mm-hmm. Aside from that, uh, let's. Alex, do you have any lasting notes before we get into spoilers? No, I want spoilers. Let's All right, go. Let's go into spoilers. So, achievers, right now, boom, spoilers are active. Alex, what, what are we jumping into? So, I mean, really, lands are oysters. We can start with bosses, we can go to areas. Uh, mm. One thing I will note very quickly at the start of this um, I can't believe how big this game was. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, same. This game was huge. Jesus. Like, the. Every time I found a piece of the map, I was like, oh, okay, so it's, it'll probably end like around here. Then you'd yeah. find another map, which would then add more, and then you'd get another one, and then it would mm-hmm. add more. It was satisfying. Every time you got a map, though, you just see it slowly, like, up here, and then you're like, oh, I'm opening it up. Fuck. But, yeah. and then there was times where I got to Lyernia. And I'm like, oh, okay, there's a little bit on this side. I'm like, oh, okay, this, that's probably the last of it right there. I get that, and then the map opens up even more. Yeah. I'm like, dude, how much is going? am I going to get? Yeah. I, and then the, what was your reaction when there was an underground? Yeah, I, that blew my mind. So <laughs> when, when I found I don't remember. I believe I started in, uh, you probably know this, Nakron? That's the one you start Nakron? in, right? Yeah. I guess yeah. it depends on what lift you take, but and then, yeah, you could you could go either Nakra or Nakstella. Yeah, so I was actually doing the Ronnie quest line. This is how I mm-hmm. discovered the underground. I I I think that's how most people discover it. And I was doing it, and I immediately went down. And when you get that first rock, it's like, oh, that's crazy. There's an underground area here, like just here. Mm-hmm. And then later on in the game, you figure out there's two other completely different areas underground as well that are huge. One being absolute hell to be in um literally hell it was awful mog i hate you i hate everything about that area that was awful yeah that place is ridiculous yeah you go down through so free uh so free so free river. river yeah 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 so that place is that that place the dynast- dynasty mausoleum yeah that yeah where mog is that that's terrible yeah that place sucked i do uh i lo- i mean of course, I love it, but I did love how huge the game is. And also, nothing feels... It's really easy for a game to feel like, oh, this is, you know, you space like... to be space. Like, like so... it feels like there's just space there. But in this game, like, every... You never feel like, oh, there's just this vast area which is nothing to do in it. There's graces. There's mm-hmm. little catacombs. There's places you can use stone sword keys to open, like, secret passages into yeah. uh, maybe a, a chest or a different area. So I didn't know if you felt this way. Um, I felt uh, just a little bit. It's not a bad thing, but like for uh, for example, compared to Dark Souls One, right? The uh, anytime you go somewhere, the level design was just amazing. Like you right. know, you would hit somewhere over here, you would do some bunch of stuff, and then you wind up going to lift, and then you're back at the uh, you, yeah yeah at the Firelink Shrine or yeah. somewhere different. You're like, how did I get here? This place. I don't really get that much. No, like it's some stuff are connected, but it's just so big. You're like, you're like, it's a great, uh, like map, but the level design as in it's not intertwined as it used to be. And I didn't know, do you, do you like it like this better, or do you like the level design of like Dark Souls One, for example, where everything's kind of connected? 
Yeah, so it, it kind of sounds like, um, and you're not the only one. I've heard a few people bring this up. Yeah. I don't mind people having that issue because you're kind of saying you kind of wish it was a little more linear, which I don't blame people. I mean, people like mm-hmm. linear experiences. Um, with a big giant map like this, you can't. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could, but can't really, yeah. you can't really do that because you're just. And it's it just tried. A giant, it, it it's could, just a, yeah, it there's definitely a few, tried. You could definitely tell there's a few areas where they kind of mm-hmm. wanted to try and make you feel like that kind of Dark Souls amazing game design. To me, yeah. it, it never really happened. I never really got that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm back here. Like in Dark Souls one, two, and even three, like you, that almost happened every single time where you just you take a lift mm-hmm. and you'd be like, "Where does this go?" And you go and you're like, "Oh, it's a checkpoint. I can get my." you know relight the bonfire you that, oh you're up. like open that door you're like oh the shortcut yeah yeah it's, a, it's another shortcut that never really happened for me um okay that happened to me on this game three times i think do you remember the areas so the first area was i was going through a dungeon and i forget where i think it was in lyernia maybe okay. i was going through somewhere and i ended up being back in, or it was, I think it was Kaled. I was under on somewhere in Kaled. Okay. And I ended up taking a dungeon or doing going somewhere, and I ended up being back in Limgrave. And I'm like, whoa, how did I, I will, get here? I will say, I did appreciate the. I did kind of feel that way when I took a lift okay. underground. Yeah. So I just found yeah. a random lift Pretty and much. I took it. Yeah. And it took me to, um, uh, what was it? It's a, uh, I kind of like, I think it was the right side of Larnia, I think. I can't quite remember, okay. but I took a lift. No, no, no. I think mm-hmm. it was the uh, the right side of Kaled, like in that area. Okay. And it took me up there, and I was like, "Oh mm-hmm. snap! This is that was kind of cool." I was like, "Cause it took the lift took forever, oh, forever. forever, yeah." Because that one takes you down all the way to uh, to Noxtella or yeah. Nakron and other stuff. And, yeah. and I'm sure that's to load the area. Um, but mm-hmm. it did feel kind of cool because it's like, oh, I'm really deep underground. Like this is kind of yeah. Cool. Because it's taking so long for it to like it's slowly like bringing you back up, and I'm like, mm-hmm. this is really cool. One of the worst areas I hate, Lake of Rot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if any achievers got to that area because I know it's kind of not required. But if you got to the Lake of Rot, man, fuck it's just that all place. red. It's just all fuck redness. That place. That's just like Blight Town. I mean, every Dark man. Souls type game has like a the floor is lava type place where like you just you're gonna die yeah. if you mess around too much. Yeah, that place sucked, man. I had to do the. I think you gave you gave me the tip where you turn around and you backstep. To try yeah, and do through it that one cave, yeah, yeah, fucking god, they like a rot. Yeah, like sucked. yeah, if the lot, yeah, if the lake rot is too is too like thick and you're like slow running, you just turn around, back step, and it's faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, that place. The shrimps, man, same place. So the yeah, shrimps are place. actually probably my least favorite thing in the entire game. Like, Why do you think I hated being at Hallig 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 Tree? Oh my god, yeah, Hallig Tree. Yeah. So really quick, yeah, the shrimps. The things that have a spear that can quickly stab you, and then they can at any point just go, and then all of them yeah. just go into you all at once. It's like, how? What do you do? I, like I that was, takes so much damage. That, like I was like, what am I supposed? How do I react to this? I don't understand. <laughs> like it's so fast, you almost don't have time to react at all. It's like, I, I don't know. what am I supposed? There to do? There were times where I had to fight three of them, and there was a tree in my way, and I'm like, oh, thank God. So like mm-hmm. I would try to like hide, and you could see it slowly coming to me, and so I would. Get get from behind the tree, slice him real quick until he's dead, and then you see the other one start running to me. I'm like, okay, back to the tree. <laughs> yeah, like I was, had to have cover. Yeah, it was those things are yeah awful. Uh, speaking of Halleck Tree, I did very much love finding that area. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't love what was in it though. <laughs> oh my mm-hmm. god, man, I got my. You want to go ahead and just go ahead and just talk about that? Yeah, we definitely can. Okay. I, I don't think we can. It, I don't care about being in order or anything. But yeah, like, really quick, going into Halleck let's, Tree. Let's go. There was a secret area, kind basically, you know, like you'd have to kind of. I had to look it up, I believe, to get the last one. I don't remember if you helped me with that, but I had to look up, uh, or you even helped me to find the right one because I think I had the left one, or maybe I had the right one and needed oh, the left one. Yeah. I had one of them, found the other one, went, did the medallion, got to the secret area. First off, fuck all of that place. I got so many levels going there. Um, mm-hmm. because they everything just gives you so many souls if you kill them. But damn, was that hard! Oh my god, I hated the um dog people. I guess is the best way of describing them. So uh, the T Rex dogs? No, 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 no. Oh. The Halleck tree. They had a big sword, almost like a cleaver, and like 
his poe his pose like there were little ones like that were easy to kill. Oh, that um, was in the that was in the crumbling ferrum, uh the dragon place. You're talking about the weird dog wing things with the claver? Those? No. 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 It, it's fine. But there were these things that sucked. I hated those things too. Okay. Um they were right next to a Grace and Halleck tree. I hated those guys. There was one very okay. specific version of these kind of creepy dog looking things. Okay. And he had a big cleaver. And if he hit you, man, he did just so much damage. I hated that guy. Yeah. Um, and that was in the uh, Halleck tree. And he was in a couple of other areas in the game, I think. But uh, I loved going through Halleck tree because it was almost like a. Halleck tree is basically a boss by itself, I feel like. Like that entire yeah, area just getting through felt it, yeah. like a boss fight. When you finally found the, um, w- which they tried to do Ornstein and Smog again, I feel like in that area, because you remember you get to fight the nobles again in that area, I believe. You fight two, both nobles at once. Godskin duo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was at the Crumbling Fear of Missoula. Oh, that was that there? What was yeah, that? Yeah, that was what at was the Dragon the, Place. What was the Halleck Tree fight? Was there, wasn't there a boss halfway through? There is. I could be. Um, yeah, there will. Yeah, the beginning of Halleck Tree, there was um, Loretta, the 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 chick, gotcha. the chick without the. She, it was her again, but without the horse. Yeah. Or did she have? No, I think she did have the horse. She did have the horse. Remember. Yeah, it was I think in I between. Killed her so fast. Yeah, no, it was her, and then you get to the second part of Halleck Tree, which you know the and the the second boss is the boss they everybody doesn't want to do <laughs> god so speak before we get into melina uh let's talk builds because me and alex okay. actually had completely different experiences in this game mm. uh so i started we almost had i don't know i don't know if you'd agree with this but i i had my first reaction to the game was i was having issues at the beginning kind of mm. but once i had my builds first off the builds kind of op i'm yeah. not shocked if it gets nerfed in this next patch mm. so my build was um it originally was basically just dexterity over everything yeah. else and a little bit of arcane. I eventually respect into a full on dex arcane build uh, and had a lot more success. But I was using Rivers of Blood mm-hmm. basically the entirety of the game. Um, and because you actually got it for me semi early, I think I was level yeah, 60 I... and you well, had gotten you didn't... it. You weren't even at Atlas Plateau yet, and I already had been to the Mountain of the Giants, so I went there, grabbed the blue, grabbed the katana, and then dropped it for you. Yeah, I think that's how it happened. I think I was like level yeah. 60, so I got it super early. Which, by the way, Which, I have an extra one, so now you can have two. I can have two. But yeah. I will say um, that definitely it definitely didn't get broken until... Because when I got it, it was still broken from the patch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when the game launched, all arcane based weapons were broken. They were not scaling. They, yeah, they did yeah. not get scaled. So you were just yeah. using base weapons, which is achievers. If you don't know, that's awful. You get no additional damage, whereas every other weapon will give you double damage because yeah. your scaling is is really. And you were doing the blood loss a little bit, but it wasn't scaling. No, no, I was using it and just doing nothing. I was getting blood loss, but it was just not good. Yeah. But when they reactivated, when they fixed oh, the yeah the other arc, oh yeah, my god. It was like night. And day. I was. I've been. I need. I should. I should figure out a way of posting my Melina fight. I killed her two tries. Two tries. That that sword is OP. Dude. I had to respec to fight to to fight her. Yeah, you changed your entire build to go fight her, mm-hmm. and you whipped her ass I after just, that. Yeah. But oh yeah, I just felt like I was too slow, and I was like, I can't. I can't do it. She's kind of. I don't know if you want to talk about, but she's pretty broken in not a fun yeah. way. I feel like no, yeah. So she, she she's pretty, dance. She's pretty fine, but with the pedal dance, kind of, it gets ridiculous. Like yeah, she kind of has a one shot move, and you kind of have to just get lucky and not and her not use it. Like yeah. that's basically what it comes down to. Because if was, it hits you, you are dead. Like there were certain times where she was about to do it. And I proc and I like smacked her, and it made it to where she didn't hit it. And I guess maybe I stunned her. Yeah, like, her stun, me, probably right. Me and Mimic were going at her with yeah, it. Yeah. Well, now that you brought up the Mimic, mm-hmm. that's all I use basically the entire day of the game. I have not used a single other Ash oh, because no, Mimic is so good. It is such a good Ash. Like it's, it's so OP. 
I, I love, and it was actually stronger, which is wild. Wild that it was better before, before the patch. So it's like, this thing was even stronger than this. I only got mm-hmm. a little taste of the Mimic because I believe I got him like two days before the patch or something or a day before. And I summoned him once and he, I was like, wow, this is pretty strong, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have mine was plus seven up to millennia and i was like i need to level him up so i got mm. him to plus 10 and that's what helped because man you should see my video of millennia he after she does the her second phase and she drops down and a big rose thing yeah, comes the up rose thing I don't after, remember as it's coming down you, all you see is my mimic kamikaze jumps in there with both katanas and starts wailing on her <laughs> I just see her bar go from this to like to that yeah blood and loss i just ran into blood loss is nuts in this game yeah it is like when you like get it it's kind of hard not to make a blood build because everything is so against uh like it's so weak to blood loss other than like one character well there's a few characters like um a few yeah anything that's not human basically is an easy way of thinking about it like if it's not yeah. a person like with bl- like you know with blood it's mm-hmm. not going to take any damage. Yeah, especially like, those crystal bosses. Yeah, so you need some crystals blunt. are hard counters, hard counters. Like mm-hmm. I do basically no damage to them. Like yeah, I, you have to have I something like blunt that has strike or uh, that has that uh, like a hammer or something. I feel like I'm punching them pierce. when I'm fighting those yeah. things. By the way, fuck the falling star beast. Fuck those guys. That is the scorpion head made of rock with like a big tail type things. It's, it was at the um Estelle? Or are no, you talking no, no. about the one at Volcano Manor at the very top of the mountain? Yeah, there you go. That that yeah. one. Falling okay. Star Beast, yeah. I believe this was. Um, okay. Fucking I hate those things. Those things are so strong. Like I just do I barely do any damage to them because my whole build is centered around a sword. Well honestly, so, like, I think that wasn't that the only one? No, there's two. I fought one in a catacomb before. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beat the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't I don't remember if I killed it. I think I did. But that thing wrecked my life. Like, so hard to fight that thing. Because he's so fast. Like, you don't think so, he's fast. What? So the one that's at Mount Gilmer is the full-grown Falling Star Beast. Yeah, yeah I didn't realize there's a second one. I don't mm-hmm. even think I fought the second one. I don't remember what catacomb, but he was in a catacomb. I found him, and I was like, oh, he's this guy in... looks cool. And he just proceeded to beat the shit out of me. He's in Caitlyn. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't like yeah, him Yeah, he's in the Celia Crystal Tunnel. That sounds right. I'm pretty sure yep. I did. Yeah, that's definitely where I found him. I got oh, I to must, the end yeah. and was like, "Oh my god!" Because because when you die, you have to run all the way through the crystal tunnel again. It's so annoying. Yeah, I hated that place. Oh my god. But uh, but yeah. Um, what was your build? Uh, I, I told uh, the achievers my build. By the way, but it was like arcane rivers of blood, super OP. All you mm-hmm. do is use course piler, and everything dies. But yeah, you go yeah. ahead with uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That has so much range, by the way. It's crazy. It's nuts. It's nuts. Like the yeah. like you can quickly do five strikes and mm-hmm. then just get out of there. Like yeah, the, so, um, the movability is amazing. My original my original build was a strength dex build with blood fang, a bloodhound fang. Okay. And I that uh that weapon art man, it was you where you like just do a flip, do the and then you and you like teleport to the guy and you slice him. That was so like. It does so much damage. Yeah. Like, I was using that throughout pretty much through the whole game until Millennia. Yeah. And Millennia, and I beat Millennia before I went to go beat the game, of course. Um, and um, once I tried to do it with her, it wasn't working. So I switched to a uh, dex build with two katanas. And it, that, that immediately, like, and I did more of a bleed build with katanas, so I got the Millennium talisman. Weak to bleed, you told me. Yeah. So, and yes. I, when I was doing the game, she's you're weak like, to bleed and frost. Yeah. When I was going to the fight, you're like, yeah, she's weak to bleed. I'm like, so my entire build, dope. Yeah. Yeah. So literally, she took me. Do you have a round maybe forty tries? Oh, you think forty? Oh, I would yeah. have more. And I, I, yeah, I think. It was over three days, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, it was probably 30, 40. You, 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 probably, I, you, were, you were there for a while. <laughs> you yeah, I, I, think I, I think around 40. Yeah, like I was like, okay, I need to switch my build. Yeah, and that's why I think I, I did. After I switched my build, I almost got her the first try. I, I had a I quarter remember. left. I was like, okay, I got this. You're like, okay, I can get her now. The next two times, I was like, oh, I don't know what happened. My Mimic just, just got destroyed. Yep. And, then, uh, and then my fourth try, killed her. And I was like. I was there. 
like yeah i was, I was there like, listening he I, I was like good job man like because you you were trying for days like that was like mm -hmm. your third fourth day on millennium yeah. and you're like i gotta and, kill this shit and this is before this was before patch uh just any like just a 1.3 patch i don't know if they did anything to what i was using you sure um, you did you beat millennia before march march 17th was the patch you sure here i can get you right now uh yeah, yeah, yeah. let me know i i, I could have swore that was like 20th or something like that I... millennia i did it the 17th so the day of the patch Which is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to have done a day day of patch because our the the sword was fixed. Remember? That's your, right. Yeah, river that's, was, river that's was fixed, why I so switched. you could use it. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was. That's why I switched. Yeah. Yeah, rivers. That, then, yeah, then that she was broken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you did like it. Really is broken. If you look up a video, maybe I'll try and post it on the channel if I have time. Um, but but rivers of blood is fuck. It's wild. It's wild. Like it. It's. I mean, it's broken. That's yeah, this I thing. Mean, but let's get. I mean, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you could probably see it. Let's see. Where am I? See this sword right there. Yep, rivers of blood. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, that sword is. And you feel amazing. cool. Like it oh, just yeah. feels dope. It reminds oh, me yeah. a lot of the um. There was a, there was basically a very similar weapon in Bulletborn. I don't remember the yeah. name, but it was dope too. It had a similar kind of blood aesthetic. Mm -hmm. You used to actually eat your health when you like did the special attacks. So mm -hmm. like, for a while before the patches, what I was using was the Sword of Night and Flame. Yeah, because I had the Kamehameha wave. Yeah, you want to talk about broken? Yeah, that, that was, was nuts. that was pretty broken. And yeah. then they fixed it's it. To it and, the, well, it's still good. It's just it's not still good. It's just not. It's not fucking. But now insane. there's a there's some, well, there's something better if you switch. If you, which my second build was a mage dex build, if you use your, if you get the right scepter and you get it all the way up and get the uh source, the incantation or sorcery um comet azure, it's pretty much the same thing, but it lasts longer. So it's even stronger. It lasts way longer, yeah. and and especially when you use your misc, your 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 mix flask. Yeah, I have the thing where it for ten seconds. It doesn't FP. use and yeah yeah infinite FP and uh the one that I have it mixed with is um that um the FP or the does the magic does more attack power pretty much it does more damage so I just use that at, right before I hit a boss and I just smack him for ten seconds literally just holding it there as long as they don't hit me I'm just holding it there oh my god yeah and then it it doesn't even use my bar so it's, it's in the game yeah. Literally, I just re did. I just started my first play. My excuse me, my third playthrough. Yeah. At the very beginning, where the tree sentinel is, and you know how you're not supposed to fight him until later. I went up to him, did that, killed him first, just quick. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's him. dead. And you just move on. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's talk about some areas. Let's get into like right. the actual meat of the game. We can discuss story as well if you want to, but let's yep. let's talk to, like just some various areas. What are, what are a couple standouts for you? A couple standouts for me. I, I su surprisingly, I didn't think I'd care too much about this place, but Volcano Manor I actually enjoyed quite a bit. I actually, yeah, I the thought aesthetic, that was cool. yeah, the aesthetic. It was, I mean, it's in a volcano, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the weird assassination cult thing they got going on there. I don't know what that was about, but I was like, this is cool. Yeah. You guys are weird, but cool. Um, they have this weird snake beast man underneath the <laughs> underneath the castle. I was like, all right, yeah. cool. Uh, they w found a way to work in the... I don't remember what it was called in Demon Souls, and it was in Dark Souls 3 or something like that. But they have, you know, the wind sword that's in the Demon Souls game and oh, one of the Dark Souls to. games. The, but in this one, it's a spear. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, and you, you use it to kill the serpent. Yep. Yeah, serpent that thing, thing. Was, that was awesome. Yeah, that was that was a really cool fight. Uh what else? I enjoyed um just a cool looking fight, Lernia. Like uh with Renal is her name Renala, right? Mm -hmm. the, Rena, the, the uh, yeah, Rena and Renala, yeah. Rena's yeah. the first one, then she switches and it's then it's, it's Renala, Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. It's so cool. That was yeah. so cool. That whole fight, because you get teleported to that like water with the giant moon, and you're fighting her. She turns into do, a moon, and it when shoots that, it at you. When that appeared, I was like, "Is this like a a end boss that I'm not knowing of?" And like the way it just felt like an end boss. Yeah, it was and definitely it, supposed to look cool. Like it, like yeah. they went for cool factor with the boss. 
I very much enjoyed that. Like just being able to see a moon slowly being shot at you is so cool. Mm -hmm. I almost killed me so many. Um, yeah, I think my f my favorite area. Um, God, I don't know. It's hard. No, it's hard. There's a lot of good places. I, would... I, I enjoyed uh, walking around. I mean, just Limgrave itself is really nice. That's what I was going to say. I think for the most part, the beginning area, Limgrave, I, I literally put maybe 30 to 40 hours into that place alone, just getting everything. Just discovering stuff, finding yep. um, random NPCs to talk to and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, I did like the... I, I don't know why, but I didn't see the round table hold coming, like the actual... Oh yeah, I did not see that area coming. That yeah. was very cool. Yeah, like that being was being able to teleport world. there. Yeah, and kind of chill and talk to like vendors and NPCs. Yeah, um, have kind of like a really. Uh, that was that was like our Firelink Shrine. Yeah, it was like Firelink Shrine or um, uh, Demon Souls area, whatever that was called. Uh, I don't so remember. that was that was super. Uh, I did enjoy that. I love the blacksmith character. I don't really know why, but I do like the blacksmith character. I did enjoy that the. The guy you think that's supposed to, so the all knowing. The Nexus the guy, is what it's called. Nexus, thank you. Right. Um, the all knowing, a guy you think is trying to help you, just mm -hmm. tries to murder you halfway through the game. Sir Gideon, I think this is. Yeah, Sir Gideon. Yeah. He sends. Um, does he have a name? The assassin that hangs out with him? The what? Remember the assassin? You go to the round table hold, he tries to kill you. Oh, the one, uh, yeah, Encha? Is that his name, Encha? The one, the one that's usually just sitting there like this? Yeah. And yeah. just at some yeah. point, he'll just try and kill you. I think it's Anisha or Encha, something like that. Yeah, see. that was wild. Yeah, Encha. That, that was wild. Very cool moment, though, Like, because it's just you don't expect it. You just go to the thing, and you're like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And he just comes running at you. <laughs> like, So that, that was super cool, and, and I'm sure it yeah. took a lot of people by surprise because um, you're thinking you're going to the hold, and yeah. you, you, some dude's trying to kill you. I do like yeah. that um, it's very clear that the guy sent him. Like, you went to talk to him. He's like, oh, he did. Oh, he's, you know, let's t put it behind us. He acts on his own and something. I'm yeah. like, bro, did you send a guy to assassinate me, man? Right. But you end up killing him later. Fuck that guy. Oh, yeah. Um, Funniest thing, like, and I did not see that and did not see it coming. It was when you randomly go in Limgrave to a random cave and you see a chest. You open that said chest and all you hear is, you think you can steal my stuff? <laughs> my our boy Patches just comes out <laughs> with a sword and a spear, like a little bitch, and you just beat the hell out of him. And yeah, because he's, he's been in all all the other Souls games other than Sekiro, and like yeah, it's because in Bloodborne I think he was the spider. Yep. Yeah, and then Creepy all he was in all the other... Oh yeah. I want to yeah, know no, what's I, up with Patches. I literally had a smile on my face that whole fight and which if you notice he had the moves from d uh, from dark souls one like the way like where he would kick and then he would break your stance like that's just how oh, it like that's yeah cool. it was it was it was cool that's pretty cool did you see a excuse me did you see that the all-knowing was able to use like boss abilities yes yeah that was yeah. a really cool touch yep. it's like you know he would know so like he's he like, did the kamehameha things. wave thing at me oh he did i didn't know that yeah i think he uses some of the moves you have because that's what oh. he did to me he i was just fighting him though on my second playthrough and i don't know where he just went yeah and he did it i was like oh I was like, <laughs> Whoa. I to, yeah i had to move out the way i did not know that uh, that's kind of cool i i, I no, I didn't know that. One of the best boss has that ability, so he had to get it from me. One of the best fights I think in the game is the mimic fight, where you fight yourself. Mm -hmm. It's just a cool yourself, thing you don't yeah. expect. Like you just walk into this arena, and this thing just kind of and like morphs into yep. you, and you fight yourself. It's such, such a cool like idea mm -hmm. put into the game, and then you get a summon that summons that thing, so you get to fight with yourself. Like there are so many cool ideas. Yep. In the game, and and it, it creates like these memorable parts that you, that that kind of stick with you that that's one thing that's, that i very i much think that's enjoyed. why this game stands out a lot because of the summons the summons were a very crucial thing in this game really like in a good way like isn't like it's it makes it so different like you're yeah. like when like earlier when i was talking about it's like oh if you haven't played a dark souls game or you didn't enjoy them because they were like you know too difficult things like that this game is more lenient because of the summons 
they help yeah. they like like instead of you having to rely on us like oh let me summon my best friend or like you know you don't have anybody to like co-op with like those summons help you like even yeah. like uh there was a summon you get it has like the three dogs literally just summon it you got three dogs with you now helping you on your fight i mean that's three i mean four v one now like it just helps and it just makes it more manageable so Agreed. you're like, oh, you don't feel alone now. So you're like, okay, I think I got this. It makes it more fun. Agreed. One of my favorite parts actually is fighting multiple people at once mm-hmm. and summoning my mimic to go fight someone and while I fight the other person. Well, it just feels yep. cool. Like there's two battles kind of happening at once. No, for sure. I very yeah. much enjoy that. I wish um, I wish it happened more often actually because I don't feel like I had a lot of fights where there were more than one people. And maybe that's my fault not going in catacombs more. Because uh, I did not do a lot of catacombs. I did a few. I did a good bit. Um, I did a lot of the ones that had the smithing stones in them uh, mm. when I needed them. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't do too many. I, I, I wanted a couple more fights where there were like two or th- even three people. Uh, one thing I remember in Bloodborne, there was a really hard fight. Um, I don't remember their names, but they were, they, they, it was in like the cemetery area. And you had to fight three ki- of these kind of... I don't want to say knights but like they're they're like assassin kind of hunter people you gotta fight three of them at once it was really hard i kind of wish i'm sure there's i'm sure there's one somewhere but i kind of wish there was a few of those fights sprinkled in since you can summon something i wish there was like a couple fights where there were two well, I, I know what you're talking about yeah it's like so, yeah there was multiple hunters and you had yeah. to fight them you have to fight them at yeah. once yeah i, I do yeah. kind of wish that was in this game but it's not here not, not a huge critique, and again, I'm sure it's in there, but uh, yeah, that was always the coolest. I remember fighting the Godskin duo, summoning one, he fought the skinny one, I'm over there fighting the fat one while he, like, rolls on mm-hmm. me and shit. It was really- yeah. And then they they could resummon because I was like I was killing one and I was like the health part doesn't match up that's weird so I started killing the other one and it's like then you see him like just the other one appeared again I'm like oh he summons him. Speaking of summoning him, um, I enjoyed the. Uh, spirit one where Mm. there's like a whole spirit cave and while you go through it there's like these kind of spirit squids that are summoning wolves and there's some that's like summon these really strong guys and if you get to the very end the boss uh is a spirit version of the godskin noble and then the godskin uh fat guy and I think that was it. And when you fight those two, like, back to back, you find out it's, like, this weird spirit turtle guy that comes out, and you kill him, and that ends, like, the fight. Yeah, the snail, the snail, snail. thing. That's, that's like, right. Yeah. It was, like, a weird snail kind of snake. So the snail snake, yeah. And uh, so I, know, that was so, a really cool fight. I just enjoyed so, that. So it's funny. I didn't, ha- I didn't fight them at all. Mm. I literally walked in there, and I was like, well, throughout the cave, there's a snail Mm-hmm. So I, when I got to the fight, I was like, oh, snap, I'm fighting these guys. I'm like, okay. I started hitting him, or I, excuse me, I, my mimic hit him first. Yeah. No health was coming off. I was like, that's weird. So I was just like, I keep hearing like a chime, like a ding. I'm like, what is that noise? I look over around, like I started looking around the map, because I look at the name of the boss, and it says the snail thing. I forgot, it has a specific name. And I was like, that's not that enemy. So I started looking around, and I see like a little light coming from the ground. I whack it. Then they started getting health. I'm like, oh, you're hiding. Mm. So while my mimic fights the, the the harder people, I start grabbing and killing the, the, the snail. snail and it was just like a couple hits and it was dead. Yeah. It was dead. yeah. That reminds I was me like, of that's them. a cool, that's a cool boss fight though. Reminds me of the Mist Noble in Sekiro mm-hmm. where you like have a whole mist forest and you're like, you're like running around these trees and you get down and the actual boss is super weak, but getting to the boss is the difficult stuff. Yeah. So I always like that stuff. Like you find this like super weak guy, and, and upon killing him, you're like, okay, that the difficulty was to him, getting yeah. into him. The actual yeah. difficulty. So I like little stuff like that throughout the game. Yeah. Uh, what are a couple of other places we can bring up? Uh, Noxtella was really cool. Um, I'm sure there's really cool lore about what those cities were, because they're all cities. Like these are places that used to be there. They're yeah. ruins and things like that. So I'm very curious why it's all down there we, what happened is it like some sort of travesty that happened do they even know how they got here i i, I want to see more of that stuff mm-hmm. um the mountaintop of the giants that was cool that's cool that's really yeah cool. i yeah that place was pretty cool the fire giant fight yeah 
I had very much, uh, a, I had a very good time figuring out that boss fight. Yeah. So I basically run up to him. First off, I get my ass kicked like, the first three, four times. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. that, but I noticed one of his feet are different. Like one's got like a little brace and the other one's got like the yeah. little hair on it. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. So I cut that off and he like, you know, he, he's really weak. He falls, breaks his, this, this man, like a G, rips his foot off and just, ah, and screams. His like chest face opens, which was very scary. Yeah, and then you f- and then you do the actual fight against him, and you win. It was really cool. I enjoyed that. I, enjoyed I didn't actually, that. I didn't actually notice the chest face till a couple tries later. Really? Yeah, it's <laughs> I, terrifying I, looking because it looks. Yeah, like, you see his face, and then you kind of. I like thought a, it was just because like it's like closed, so I thought it was face. just his. Ch- yeah, I thought it was just his chest, and uh, and then like I got to the to the face, and you just see it open. I'm like. Oh, that's a face. Yeah, it's pretty unsettling. I was like, that's gross. And telling Alex, what are some what are some standout bosses to you? Is there a certain difficult one that you wanted to bring up? We talk, kind of talked about locations, but like is there a specific uh boss that stands out to you as a one that's going to stick with you? Of course, Millennia, you could just Mel- discuss yeah, her Melania, a little more if you want to. Yeah, let's just yeah, we'll talk about just her a little bit because I have a couple of different ones, but we'll do Millennia. Um Millennia is like like just boss fight in general. Awesome, I love awesome. that fight. Awesome. Like or like just the one her, critique like, I give it is having a one hit kill move is just kind of it's it's, it's diff yeah it is hard and the, every the fact that she heals per hit <laughs> yeah the, yeah that's pretty rough when basically if you get hit at some point she will she's healing it. yeah. It's, so it is uh, a bit. You're like, oh, wow. Shout right out then. to the people who can do that without a mimic. By the way, I don't even know how. I hey, props to you, man. I can't. I no. can't do that. No, Mm-mm. I wouldn't. No, no, no. That sounds awful. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Um, her like, I love just the way when you walk it. Uh, you walk in. She's just walking towards you with that huge Sephiroth sword, and just and just starts try to fight you. Her armor looks cool. Like I love her move set. Yes. And then when you get to second phase, she just has starts to have like flower wings. You can fly. And, yeah. Her and moves added, are so cool. So I didn't know if you got to see this move. Um, but like eventually she'll she'll rise up into the air. She, oh on uh, uh, like a tube of like air and light comes from underneath her a little bit, and it's like wind. And you just see like multiple versions of her, like ghost her of versions yeah. of her come out of nowhere and start slicing you. And I'm like, oh no. I never I got to, like, to see that them. myself, but I saw someone fighting it. Yeah. And dude, that exactly I, happened. So like you literally I was see not expecting three that three copies shoot out and start to compete yeah. you. And I those are one of the moves where I'm like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Because when you dude, dodge I tried the dodging first, it. Well, when you dodge the yeah. first three, the first one that could summon hits the ground and then shoots out at you. So like, what do you do? Yeah. I don't even know. I I wouldn't even know how to dodge it. Like, uh, like do you dodge forward when she does that? Do you like do back forth, back forth, and then forward? Yeah, I no know. idea. But Jesus, that <laughs> millennia is millennia is nonsense. I actually that's a, one of my yeah, hardest, that's an amazing fight. One of my hardest fights in the game was not a boss. It was a <laughs> kind of mini boss type scenario. Yeah. I guess is what you call them. So next to the door of millennia you go straight there's a little pool of just rot and i was doing millicent's quest line when you get mm-hmm. there this giant rot great it's the worm, great, gr- the great worm yeah whatever the fuck comes out that was so hard oh my god dude like i was like what am i supposed to do i can't get in the, the i super- stayed scarlet rotted the whole time as i'm fighting this thing and I'm just i eventually constantly just- gave up and just i was like i'm just gonna get in here and see if i can just kill him faster than he'll kill me like that was yeah. my justification oh, yeah. of fighting the fight because you can't su- summon your mimic so i was like this is just me so let's see if i yeah. can do it a couple times you know he does some dumb move when he mm-hmm. does the pickup move, insta death because you have rot already. Mm, so yep. he, he eats you, just blah, and then you're dead. So I sit there. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna. If, if I dodge it, I dodge it. If not, I'm just gonna see if I can kill him. Sat there, yeah. just banging him away. Eventually, I kill him. But he is one of the toughest fights to me because he's is, just it, in a pool of death, and you have to. There's fight. a cheese for that boss too. Uh, to he's not even a boss boss. He's no. just a he's like just yeah yeah. But like yeah, like the tree that you walk up to get to him, 
you can climb, you can go back onto it, and he can't reach you. I've seen people use Moon Veil and just do the the vertical slash, mm-hmm. and it just hit and it hits him. So he they just constantly keep doing that. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I I, I was just like, I don't have Moon Veil, so that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, like that's not a thing I'm gonna do. So we'll yeah, see what's going on. I didn't have it for that build, but yeah, I finally killed him, and I was like, just to do the Millicent quest. Yeah. Um, that sucked. Yeah, one of the other bosses, like, because it was, he was just so fast and it was just, like, it's hard to, like, get through him. Malekith, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you had a lot of trouble with him. This was around the time where my build just got OP, so I, yeah. I, I destroyed him before he could I, this do is, anything, I was but... doing him when I still had my original build with Bloodhound Fang. So, like, it was just, like... So what, what oh. made him hard? Like he was, was just he, fast, was he, dude. So he was fast. That, that, yeah. His agility was... Like, any time I'd get to him... Like, I was able to get one swing, he would jump and do the swirl red de- blood loss thing. Yeah. And that would hit me, and then I would try to get behind a pillar, but that goes through the pillar. So, like, I couldn't get behind that thing. There was no, like, like he would just kill me. Like, I got him to, like, a quarter every time, and I'm like, ah. uh, So, eventually, like, I just went back, uh, leveled up a little bit, came back to him, and I finally got it. Okay. And then actually, I think that's when my mimic was plus seven, and I raised them and I raised them up, and I was like, okay, mimic is a little stronger now, because you have to be lucky with mimic. Sometimes he get destroyed, or sometimes he would he would he would destroy. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah. Sometimes he would be the destroyer. Yeah, but so yeah, the, but that was a really cool boss fight. I really enjoyed that yeah, one. Yeah, my god, that was a cool. I I enjoyed that because it was hype. Um, the first Elden Lord fight was dope um before he turns godfrey? in yes godfrey yeah, before godfrey. he turns into horror 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 Hor- yeah um that was awesome and then when you get the cutscene where he's just like he rips the tiger off yeah, he rips <laughs> with the, his he, bare yeah. hands and then he's like i will now fight you as horror mm-hmm. and then you fight a wrestler like he is zangief man like that guy is a street fighter character beating the shit out of you like he did a move yeah. on me where he like, I don't remember. He like, pa- like he picked me up and like Batista bombed me into the like, bo- like that was a great, that was a great fight. But Jesus, was that that was there was a lot happening. And then of course your mimic eventually comes out, just beats the hell. Oh for sure. Um, what was that boss that I was thinking of just now that I really enjoyed? Oh my God, what was it? Here you go. What was one go, of your I favorites? I will go. Yeah. D- a yeah, difficult like- boss that. I won't say is my favorite because he just sat there and just beat the shit out of me the whole time. Not Estelle. So they're both Estelle, the first... but there's, there's, two, oh, there's, there's two of them. Oh, so yes. they're both Estelle. Yeah, they're technically they're both Estelle. So One there's of them... two of these things. There's, there's yes. this weird... First off, if you try to describe this thing, it sounds like you're on an acid trip. It's literally a skull with pincers and like... And there's like bubble weird, like, body. Bubbles. Yeah, like, it looks like a scorpion. And it, yeah, and it's got like wings. Fucking yeah. Jesus, this thing is like nightmare fuel. Yeah, so you have so Estelle, Estelle was nothing to me. Of the void. To me. Estelle Natural Born of the Void was fine. I think we have, I killed that thing so fast. We have Star of Darkness, Estelle. Oh That's a bad one. Dude, I would get melted Green. by that yeah. guy. Melted. I, I even came in with you, and we both got destroyed. It didn't matter. Like, you there yeah. did nothing. Like, like it took me so long to even get there to fight him. Mm-hmm. I, oh, my God. That was such a hard fight. I was eventually, I was like, I'll just do it myself. Like, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I don't remember if I left. I don't think I, I think I did maybe for a few levels. I was like, let me go do a thing. I'll go do a catacomb or something. And I think I went and leveled up, like, five levels or something. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, let me try again. Come back. Start the fight. I know exactly how I start that fight, too, because you walk in, there's, like, this kind of door that's sort of open. I would touch the door, and he and his be- beam can't hit you. I'd summon the mimic there, drink, and then I'd wait for my mimic to get up, and I'd be like, all right, go! And, like, we're, me and the mimic are running at him, <laughs> trying to hit this fucking thing. I hate that fight. Oh, my God. Yeah. And when you finally get there, it's just... That, that fight was me praying he does not summon meteors. Because if he summoned meteors, my life was yeah. over. Especially when you get close to him, and he does that thing where he raises you up in the air and then he smacks you down on the floor. Constant fear, that move. Constant fear. Yeah. Like I'm over here just corpse piling his his leg, like praying he's gonna die. 
So funny thing, you have to get to his face because his face is his weak spot. I know, I know, but dude, I just it, I kept dying. I was like, I have yeah. to give up doing maximum damage because yeah. if you're at his face too much, he'll do either the ship move. He'll so like, you he'll, too. yeah, he'll do the pincer, which which for some reason did the most damage out of everything. Not the nuclear bomb he does. No, his no, pincer yeah. would almost one hit me half the time. But yeah. uh, he would do like the sh- the the quick zip move. What? Or he would uh, do the gravity move Alex was mentioning where like the entire floor becomes gravitized and he would pick you all up and then immediately shoot you back down to the floor. Like all those moves were just so terrifying. So mm-hmm. I would just sit at his leg, corpse piling him over and over again and just praying he would not do something. God, that move, that's God. So that I got sucked. one more boss I want to, uh, or yeah. take it through, we have two more bosses we need to talk about that we have we, to talk no, about. No, 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 we, we're talking about them. For sure. Okay, but um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Radon because it's just a hel- it's hilarious because he's on a tiny horse. It's he's on a tiny horse. Um, you get to su- you get a wa- you get to fight a war. I mean, that's what it yeah, was. You pretty much that, you get that, to fight yeah. a war. That was awesome. Of, the concept of that boss fight is amazing because yeah. literally, I was like, "How am I gonna fight this dude? I gotta get to him." And then I'm like, "Okay, there's." Um, there's p- these like a bunch of pillars of uh, weapons over here. I'm gonna like hide real quick. But then I saw summons and I'm like what and i was like summons they're so everywhere. i started summoning like nine people Every, and i'm like, everywhere oh i was like my army to begin so it, i started fighting them all together felt cool because like you have all these people and they're like oh they go well, everyone's running well people were saying that he's one of the hardest bosses yeah i and, uh, i have to I admit, beat him on my third try yeah i have to admit a lot of people are saying that as well i just did not experience maybe maybe they, they didn't realize that you can summon the people i find that hard to believe i think it's just i think they just weren't ready for the fight maybe i think people kind of i I feel like people sprinted to that fight maybe a little too fast maybe or a number one tip vigor all right oh you need vigor is the most important stat in this game vigor is the most important stat i don't think people value vigor enough they think defense matters, which it barely matters in this game. I, I will that that is a heal I will die on. Defense does yeah. not matter in this game. Mm-mm. Like it almost does nothing. I, I feel so, like the difference between the heaviest best armor in the game and fucking robes is like nothing. Like it just so, feels yeah, like no, it just doesn't, doesn't matter. Armor doesn't do anything, especially halfway through the game, late game, because everything could one shot you anyway. Armor does not matter, so you might as well just have that equip load light and just work and just so you can put on other stuff like for example like you can have the talisman to negate the the, like you know physical damage or some other stuff to help you because armor it's it's pretty much this is like fashion souls it it doesn't armor doesn't matter i put on what i i put on what i look good in yeah i put on exactly i had the black assassin armor for a long time you gave me that action i was like this shit Mm -hmm. looks awesome so i put that on for basically most not most of the game like half of the game and then I actually got you, a new armor that I meant to show you. When you fight Blouth, mm-hmm. you get his oh, armor. Blade. Blouth blade. I, it's. I think it's. Blade, you talking about the, the the wolf dude? Yeah. Yeah, blade. B B L A I D D. Yeah, but I think it's. Uh, what well, it's not important. It, I think it's. Whatever. I think it's like Irish or something. So you you have to pronounce. Doesn't maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. It doesn't matter. Uh, wolf man. You kill. Wolf you man. kill. First off, that was a dope fight because he's just so cool. Like he's just he like cool. Yeah, yeah, he's so I, mad. I want to know more of him because I know he was like prisoned or something, but he's helping Rant. I don't know, but he was he really has that cool. Curse, so yeah, he is cursed too. There's a bunch of stuff with that guy. He was cool, but when you kill him, you get his armor and his sword, which by the way, his sword is sick looking. I never used mm-hmm. it because it's on my build, but it looked, it's, yeah. it's, it's sick. Yeah, and you put his armor on. That was my. I have not. I still have that armor on because, like, mm-hmm. I was like, I look sick. Like you look yeah. sick with that fucking yeah. armor. So throughout the whole, throughout most of the game, I was using Radon's armor because it's like the strongest armor, and I still had equip load. Eventually, once I got Malekith's armor, I love that was probably my favorite armor. Until now, I um I recently forgot that you know how there's the night cavalry, the dudes on the horses at nighttime. Yes. I've not fought one, but I've heard about them. So at the mountaintop of the giants, okay, you're gonna see at, at nighttime. You're gonna see the two troll yeti people taking a, a carriage. Okay, if you there's two night cavalry dudes that you have to kill at the same time, pretty much. 
technically you can bait one, kill one, and then bait the other one so you can fight it separately. Yeah. But you gotta kill both of them. When you kill both of them, you get their armor. Okay. It's called like it's called the Black Knight armor. It's one of probably the best looking armor in the game to me. Okay. I'll have to yeah, do that because that sounds like I could do that really quick. And that's what the armor I have on now. I love it. Yeah, I'm not taking it off. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, like with the quick, armor. Quick yeah. Note that we have not brought up yet. Rikens. Hmm. So that's my next boss that I wanted to point out before our our bo boss boss that we wanted to talk yeah. about. Dragon Lord Plassey. What do you Mr. Thoughts? Mr. Ghidorah himself. Well, we just yeah, minus yeah. a head. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's clearly, it's Ghidorah from Godzilla. Cl clearly, somebody loves kaiju's. Which is awesome. It looked all, I loved all of that. I loved all of that. But the fact that you, you can miss this completely and to, to even do it. it, you have to go to the grace, go to the cliff, you look down, you can drop down all the way to the bottom. There's a big, just floating panel. You go to the one that's empty, and you lay down. And like, who's going to do that? And then everything starts spinning backwards and freezes time. Everything gets fixed, and you just see the dragon in, like, in a ball. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a great fight. Yeah. And you just see that dragon, dude. Yes. It's so awesome. The, the, all that is dope. Everything that you yeah. just said. Dope as hell. Like, I just actually, getting to that boss not, is such that, a great thing. Yeah, I didn't find that organically. I I think I no, stopped I to, at Farum I to look it up. right before you turn the royal capital to ash. Mm. I stopped because I was like, all right, I'm missing a lot of achievements. That means yeah. I'm missing bosses. So, before, because yeah. I, know, I know as soon as I get the ash, I'm like, all right, I'm going to beat the game once that happens because I won't stop. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to go beat the game. So, I was yeah. like, all right, let me chill. Let me go do some stuff. So, I literally figured out what achievements i missed i was like all right where is boss boss where is this, this, this where boss is this yeah man? went fucking murdered all these bitches <laughs> <laughs> the, i love fighting the dragons i did like them uh i, I liked almost all of those fights plastics was yeah. really good um who was what was the name of the fia questline dragon that you fought in the dream world um, place what the fuck was that oh my god i can look it up here uh, yeah go ahead look that one up that one was a good one too you get the fork lightning i believe from him Mm -hmm. uh where like you can like double wield like lightning spears and sh hit them at the ground um his name is lich dragon force sedax force sedax yeah yeah who's comes up yeah force sedax is yeah dude, that was a cool fight too like just just the spectacle of like going into this thing and like you just see this giant dragon just and you, you like grab like the lightning spears and he's throwing them and I stuff i've been expecting that dragon fight i just was going to that and i don't know where like i was like I didn't like what I was walking into. That yeah. room, there was just a, a thing on the wall. I was like, well, is that going to come alive? So I started walking slowly. And then you see the you see Fia just sitting there. You do all that stuff. You finally, you, like, you know, touch her. And you don't even see a cutscene or anything. You don't, nothing. It just, a dragon spawns and you're in the middle of a fight. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like it just ran every. I did like randomly. the dragons were kind of like collectibles in this game too. No, yeah, because like you got the hearts, and then if you kill the dragon, you, uh, you would be able to use the heart to get the dragon get spell it. from the dragon mm -hmm. communions, which there are two in the game: the the regular little communion, and then the actual cathedral that you'll get all of the dragon arts from, which yep. is really just a cool thing. Because at any point, you can just turn your head into a dragon, just. Uh, like just, just go, spit yeah. all dragon stuff over i love the um uh i believe it was plastics is ruin i think is what it's called where as soon you as you summon yeah. this dragon and he just wow wow i like sh like shoots like lasers across the area it's pretty it's much so Ghidorah. Cool. yeah yeah you saw I me mean, summon a head of a and just shoot lightning garbage all over the ground so cool yep it's yeah that that, that yeah that boss was super cool uh just quick shout outs to you already kind of gave a shout out um uh mog was a fun boss yep. uh i had to not i had to get the purifying tier to actually fight him because mm -hmm. jesus his whatever you call that thing where he's hitting the air with his spear and it's sh shooting blood all over the place was so annoying so i had to go get the tier got the tier popped the tier open um to negate the damage from him so i was like that that made that fight like 
way more manageable because I didn't have to worry about burning four flasks in the middle of the fight. God, yeah. I hated that part so much. Uh, we already talked about Millennia. Uh, just a beautiful, cool fight, and we'll probably end here unless you have one, Alex. Uh, ancestral spirits. So there's two of mm-hmm. these, and Jesus, the music, and we'll get to the music when we get to the last two bosses we have. But the music for both ancestral spirit and the regal ancestral spirit is so- yeah. Oh no, yeah, just the the it was so regal too. The way it was bouncing in the air and everything. Mm-hmm, yeah, it, it does so cool. kind of like float thing that's like coming so things you. you have to do to unlock that too <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah 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 you have to like light the sp- things and it, yeah it was, it was a little cool though i hate that area though those guys can go fuck themselves by the way before we end with the last two bosses who put the lobsters in the game and how can i tell them to stop lobsters maybe send hate mail and the shrimps what's up with them crustaceans why are they so hard? Like yeah. when a lot when I saw a lobster, I would be like, "All right, he's gonna hit me." Like, so obviously, he, these guy, these people hate seafood because crustaceans apparently are the hardest thing in this game. Like this guy, like like this these lobsters like are like sniping with bear at fifty cows from Modern Warfare like w- like two, and they're like, "I got I got the, I got him in my sights, chief!" And the other guys take the shot. And he's like, ah, and just like fighting. Those lobsters was one of the most annoying fucking things in my entire life. Just, I don't even, I think I've killed one of them. All the other ones, I was just like, fuck this. Like, oh, I'm not yeah. fighting these things. I think I've things. killed two lobsters in my three gameplays that I've done so far. Yeah, I, I, I've i killed two. one. And I was like, this is not worth it. <laughs> like, I was like, and fuck this place. The two that I had, that was just going to Mog, it was the two that pop up out of nowhere. Because I wanted all, there was like smithing stone sevens down there. And I was like, I need these. And I was like die <laughs> fucking hate those things i never wanted to see those things yeah anyways oh t-rex dogs fuck those things too <laughs> like it does like 70 hits on you in one second you can't even do mm-hmm. anything you're like all right that was fun yeah oh I've, we never talked about spider hands from care okay from karen manor yeah okay oh my god who, that is weird, who man. hurt you? Who hurt right? you, designer, that put that in the game? When I saw that, it I don't know what part of the brain it's meant to fuck with, but it fucks with it for me. Oh, Because, yeah. like, seeing a hand, like... Like a... Oh. It's unsettling. And, when it, and it's not even that it's unsettling, too. It fucks you up chases if you let it. You. It'll it fuck chases you. you. It will fuck you up if you let it hit you. Because if it yeah. does that move, I don't even know... It, I don't know. It like, wiggle, it like wiggles you or so, like it does the fast wiggle hand attack where like you get hit a million times and you're just dead. Yeah, in my Fuck mind that. I was like, oh, oh my god. Literally, I was going like underneath ground and I was like, oh, I was in a where you go where you see all the ants and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh no, this is where I'm gonna encounter the spider boss of this game because you know you every Souls Born game there's always a spider boss. Yeah, the spider boss, which we didn't really get one in this game, at, at least as I no. know of. No, no, we didn't know we didn't get a spider boss in this game, which is like there's spider enemy, spider like enemies, but, but there's not no a like spider, spider boss. Spider, not like a yeah. Um, Queen Spider Lava Lady from Dark Souls 1, I think it was. Oh, I got you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah but like, yeah, like we that, never... Too. They were just kind of like these hand spiders. That yeah, because I was sucked. looking, I was thinking about it, and I was like, God, is there a spider in this game? And, and uh, Andy, Nitro Rifle, he was playing. Um, He was like, he was talking about it to one of his co-hosts, and he was like, yeah, there's a spider-like creature. <laughs> They didn't want to say what it is, and then when they encountered it, they were freaking out. Yeah. It's a fucking hang. Yeah. Anyways. Alex. So now, to the boss we wanted to talk the about. The boss we want to talk about. Of course, you fight the first Elden Lord, you beat him, and then you basically have the choice to, would you like to now go fight the two last bosses? Mm-hmm. Not knowing Which, that you have two not bosses. Knowing. Not, not knowing. knowing. Yeah. You think Radagon might be the last one. First off, you get in there and it looks cool. He's like crucified on these on this like rune arc well, kind of thing. Fair, that's not even Radigan on. That's Queen. Uh, that's Queen America. Are they? So how the does same. that work? So but... they're, they're, they're the same. Ha- they're, there's just Radigan. Radigan's one half, and then Queen America is the other half. It, it, think of it as an alter ego. They have two. Okay. It has two alter egos. The one that's hung, the blonde one, that is the queen. Okay. Then it changed 
to its alter ego, which was Radigan. Radigan. Yeah. The one and the same person, pretty much. All right. The lore is fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. I have no... Cool. Sounds cool. I just... That yeah. make, I, I guess it's... I don't know if it's a spell or something, but... I don't know. Not important. Yeah. It yeah. was fucking awesome. All of it was cool. Yeah, um, literally just comes up, grabs the hammer, starts... Hair starts changing. Crumbled and stuff. Like, like there's, like, pieces, there's, like, off the of... The other half of the armor is shadow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the body, you see like their insides. It's like what the. Fuck? Awesome. Yep, the music starts so playing, cool. and you just see him turn like backwards. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. hold on, do I still have it. Y- you know you do. Let's not get. Let's not get. Uh... I'm gonna do like the f- like two seconds of it. Yeah. Okay, that was enough. Like yeah. just that. Oh, oh, duh, 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 duh. It's so good. Oh my god, it's just the theme, yeah. but it's sped up just enough mm-hmm. to where it's like this big triumphant score while you're fighting Radigan. And it's fucking really cool. Like, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's a really cool boss. He has really cool move yeah. sets. Um, yeah. He's so, quick, man. Yeah, he'll fuck you up too. If you don't, if you mm-hmm. like, you have to take care of him quick because yeah. you have the next boss, Elden yeah. Beast, to fight. Oh so you just see the way that pops. You just see some weird celestial thing come, grabs Radigan's yeah. body, pushes it down, and make pretty much pulls a sword out. So he just made a sword made, out of that dude's made, body. Made a sword out of his body. <laughs> like, yeah, just like a sword wow, and that you, is how like cool. godlike and everything sounds and the music is so like oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, and there's just been an open like like he, like oh. world. And it's just like floating, kind of, and like there's these earth much trees Lugia. everywhere. It's, it's Lugia. <laughs> it does kind of look like you, uh, Lugia. But but yeah, that that I was describing to you uh, earlier. It's it's like fighting a painting. Yeah. It's like there's a painting happening, and you're fighting it, like this elegant beast that's like, like it does a couple like fast attacking moves, but like even what it does is like this elegant attack that it does, like. I remember the one where it, like it, it does like the Estelle attack where like it puts like the dust in front of it and explodes. Yeah. There's the one where it'll my, one of my favorites. It goes to the sky and it like flies in a circle and it makes this Elden Ring thing. Mm-hmm. And then one uh gets on the one's ground. On the floor, yeah. And it's yeah. huge. So you got to fucking run out of that thing. Yeah. And it just kind of charges up and then just there's a huge explosion. Mm-hmm. I mean there's so, so much the worst one, dude. The worst one that you gotta watch out for is like when he jumps in the air, it shoots a bunch of spikes and it comes at you oh like in a wave. Oh my god! Yeah, it goes. Oh. You if you if you're all, cut, that if one, you get caught off guard, you're dead. Yeah, that, and that, that thing one, does you so can much dodge. damage. So that one you can dodge. It's the other one that you can't. It come like from its back, like the shrimps. Multiple comes at you, and they're just going fume, fume, fume. You can't dodge Whoa, them. They, they, they I just. Have. I don't think I they got just that keep they do they just keep coming at you. They're like the little holy knives. Yeah. And they just keep coming at you and you can't dodge them. I dodge roll and it comes back around and just hits me and I can't dodge it. Like if you get Whoa. that, you're screwed. I don't think I got that attack. Oh my god, it was so annoying, dude. Sounds annoying. I, that's, I don't... that's the only one that kept killing me. Even the wave where he would throw the wave of or the the holy arc wave really quick, I just dodge roll and that's fine. But that needle, man, where the, or the slow ones, not even the fast ones that come and you can dodge. The slow ones, just like there's just so many. You. There's so many. It's just like it just keeps happening. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. <clears throat> I can't even outrun it. Half the time when I'm running, there's just more coming. Like, it's, it, it just doesn't stop. And I'm like, well, how, how am I supposed to fit stop? Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, that, that, yeah, that sounds hard. I've, I did not. I had to get it to where it would lock on my mimic instead of me. <laughs> You're like, fuck you, dude, and you just run it. Yeah. But yeah, that, that fight was that, that fight that was, was awesome. a special and then fight. You, and That's then, something I'm gonna remember. And then when you beat it, it's like not like boss or anything. It's God slain. Yeah, that was so a good you touch. You literally just bought a god. That was a good touch, and, and it and it's a real good uh, not for not foreshadowing because it doesn't work that way, but it kind of foreshadowing if if you get it from the other perspective, but. Uh, Godric is his name, right? Or all knowing, what's his name? Oh, um, Gideon. Gideon, sorry. 
fucking G's and R's. I think, yeah. So Gideon, when you kill him, goes like, like I know one thing. A tarnish cannot kill a god. And he's like dying, and he's like, not even you. And he dies. Yeah. And it's like, ooh, that was ominous. <laughs> like You're like, when I killed him, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. And when you get, yeah. but it makes it sweeter. When you get god slain on your screen, you're like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah, get, fuck like I made sure, yeah, yeah. It's like the last fuck you to Gideon. It's like, yeah, fuck you, Gideon. Like, I got that fucking god guilt. Yep. And that's so satisfying. To kind of round it out, and then we'll get into final thoughts, Alex. What was your ending? Have, As you, I say, have you done your endings? Do you have a canon ending, etc.? So take that endings. in any direction. So endings. Um, quit sidebar. When you beat Elden Beast, it doesn't automatically end. There is a grace, si- a grace right there, and you can leave that place and go do other stuff. Yeah, you can. You can. You can leave and literally just say, hey, I beat the god. Fuck, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. And you can just keep playing the game. Now, there's three main endings. There's the Ash... Uh, what was it? Ash of there's, Stars? There's Age of well, Stars. Age of Stars, Lord which is wrong. Is... Lords of Frenzied Flame. Lord of Frenzied Flame. And then which I is think... The... Isn't it just and then the Elden, Elden Lord. Lord? Yeah. Yes. The Elden Lord is just the standard one. Yeah. You just your Elden Lord. Yeah, yeah. Which is what you Ronnie's do the whole game. Ronnie's is probably my favorite. Yeah, and yeah, you pretty much take over with her. And then That's there's the cool. lead. Yeah, yeah there's the Lord of Frenzy Flame, where you just pretty much just uh, burn the, the tree. Yeah, that wild. I I need to watch that ending because I I just it's like, fucking wild. Yeah, I want to see what that is. Um. Yeah. Like it's like it's like you're like nah, I choose fucking chaos. Yeah, like, he's just, just like ah! and then like the whole tree's gone. It's just blown up. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, Ranny's was my favorite. Uh, is it good? I don't know, <laughs> but it's cool. She's I like, it's, it's, I think it's a fine. Uh, big, I think the nat, like I said, the the regular one is the Elden Lord because you become Elden Lord. Yeah. With this one, you just have a queen, pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's, and well, you're also doing the Age of Stars, which like she says, like will be ruled like by like darkness and stars or something. I was yeah. like, it was a lot of whimsical talk, and I'm just like cool <laughs> like, yeah. i'm just kind of like on the sideboard like yeah this is cool I, this seems fine i don't know you seem yeah. nice so we'll <laughs> do this because <laughs> yeah. uh by the way um just uh, before before we leave shout out to uh eg shout out to my man eg the uh giant blacksmith guy that uh went out like a g oh, yeah man went out like a EG. g took off his helmet yeah, I, I... fought a bunch of fucking black knife assassins and died like it went out like a fucking G. Yep. That's crazy, man. But yeah, yeah. Ronnie's was my uh, ending. I have not really looked at the other endings. I'm not. I'm. I like knowing what the good ending was. It does. It seems like another Dark Souls where it's not really clear. Some of the Dark yeah. Souls, I think, in Bloodborne, are like. It's it's kind of interesting, like which ones, quote unquote, good. Do you have a? Um, but do you have a? I'm, I'm, I guess I guess I don't know if I would say favorite ending, but like like which ending for the Souls games do you like the best? Like, I don't really like any of them, but okay. I like all of them if that makes sense. Like, yeah, they are all kind of nonsense if I'm being honest. Sekiro probably has my favorite ending because out of all the FromSoft games, Sekiro has an easy to follow story. Okay, so like I'm invested the whole way versus in Dark Souls one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm the Fire Lord. <laughs> like, in the and third blood one, Bloodborne blood the... you become a Worm God thing. Oh my God! Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, you become a God. I think I don't know. Yeah, what's and the then... with all these things and you're becoming gods at the end? Like, what the fuck? You ascend. I don't know. Ascend. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but but yeah, I think Sekiro because it's clear what's happening, and I and I was invested what what was going on, and it's a cool way of ending the game. Like. Yeah, it's very cool way of like, all right, this is goodbye, but we're gonna go do other cool shit. And it was, cool. it was, mm-hmm. it, I like that. It's kind of my favorite kind of way it's ended. Do you see this them making? My... Go ahead, good. No, I was gonna say this is probably my favorite FromSoft game, though. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, do you see them making a another Elden Ring? Like, so example, Dark Souls one, two, three. There's Bloodborne. Like, I'm assuming there's gonna be a Bloodborne two one day. I do feel, you think? I feel. Do like... you think this is the start of a series? I think so because it just sold way too much. 
yeah. Like the the game sold over 10 million copies in the first few days, I think, or something like that. Yeah, no, that game. This game is it's, you just it's they sold a lot. I don't think they just go. All right, we're done. Like I think yeah. they do another one. They probably make sure Dark Souls Two doesn't happen. Mm, yeah, where they, somebody somebody else takes over. Yeah, I think they make sure that doesn't happen again because they yeah. know how that went down and people don't like that. So I think they're yeah. gonna stick with Elden Ring Two. Yeah, and that's why <laughs> three yeah, Dark Souls Three. They were like, all right, we're taking it back. <laughs> If the rumors are true, we should be seeing a Bloodborne remake soon. But we'll also be seeing a Bloodborne 2 if the rumors are doubly true. So now we're going to have like a not from soft game made by not from soft unless they are making it with them. Who knows? That's a whole other speculation thing that you do have to do Mm -hmm. to figure out if that was real or not. We just know that for sure. Not for sure. Pretty confident there's a Bloodborne happening right now. By um, yeah. Blue point. Thank you. Blue point. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. They do Demon Souls remake. Yes. Yeah. And the uh, rumor it. is they'd make Bloodborne remake to re- get ready for them trying to make a second one. Awesome. Because Hey, like, they they re- hey, they remade Demon Souls for the uh, for the launch of PS5. A hey, maybe to get us ready for Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Alex, Mm-mm. closing out the show. Is there anything that yeah, we didn't maybe touch on that you want to leave the show with? Any final thoughts on the game itself? Um, I mean the game. I mean, yes, the game has. You know, there's. You keep hearing about like you know there's some frame rate issues, things like that. It didn't really affect the game to where the game's not bad, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, like like it, it's literally you're like yeah, it could be fixed, but like it didn't make the game worse for me. Hmm. In my opinion, and so also, I would. Playing say, a PC. No, that's that's, that's, that's a good point. That's, that's a good indicator. point. Yeah, consoles if you're, if you're, by far were the best place to play. If you are gonna get it on console, if you have a PS5, get the PS4 version. For some reason, that one runs better. If you I want a stable fix, frame rate, if you yeah, want, if you want if a you stable don't care, frame rate, if you don't care, just get a PS5. Version. Yeah, PS5 version. I mean, it's so far from what I've seen. It looks it, it looks been pretty good so far. I've seen people stream on the PS5 version and it's fine. I, we're playing on Xbox Series X and to me it ran great. I got I've one area. Said... I had one area where it was like, whoa, it was like Blight Town all over again. But like it was like uh, for like five minutes and then it was done. You can definitely I never see had that issue again. issues when you're on a horse. Aside Sometimes from yeah. that, I yeah. got pretty lucky. But again, I was playing this a long time after launch versus most people. Mm. Like I started really playing this game hardcore around March 15th ish. I played the, I've been playing this since lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had a more polished experience because that was around the first big patch. Yeah. So mine was a little cleaner, but also, again, we're not on PC. I really feel for you guys. That The shit yeah. I've seen is pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> it looks like you, it looks like a PS3 is trying to run that game. Wild. Yeah. And it's crazy because we're tight. We've already been, we already hit over a month, yep. uh, over a month for the release. Over and a month. I, I don't, I don't even remember, like, that's cr- like, I don't remember playing this game for a month. Nope. But uh, yeah, wild. you have final That's thoughts. Uh, it's my favorite from soft. I think um, yep. it's an incredible game. I can't wait to do a second playthrough. Eventually I do want a thousand it. Um, I need to finish another game first, but once I do a thousand it, it's going to be put away for DLC and I cannot wait. Oh, yeah. Not yep. Wait. yep. I'm going to do the third playthrough and then I, I'm going to set it aside until DLC. Yep. Achievers, what did you Think about Elder Ring. Comment below with your thoughts on the game or any sort of section that we hit. Maybe something we missed. Put it down there. We'll discuss it. Remember, you can tweet at us at EVM1000 at Crazy Subscriber. Remember, Easy Achievers, available at all podcasters. Normally, we're posting on Fridays. This is a spoiler cast. Those are put out when we have time. So those are just put out at random intervals. But if you want everything semi early, go over to Patreon. If you want to support us there, check out the tiers. If you don't mind, remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Five star review on any podcast service you're currently listening to. And until next time, go cheap. Go cheap.